Welcome to the show called Style Forward, where we break down anything that has to do with style, from healthy eating to skincare. We cover it all in the style world. On this episode, we're going to discuss what most 50 plus men and women are looking for, the fountain of youth. Well, we'll be talking anti-aging creams and other skincare remedies. We all want to look and feel young, well into our 90s, and why not? But none of us want to go the Joan Rivers route. It's gotta be natural. There are so many creams, lotions, and remedies out there that will promise us the world, and they fall short. Celebs like Jennifer Lopez and Cindy Crawford have mastered the art of looking young. On this episode, we'll try to clear the air on those anti-aging cream companies who are the fakers and those who are the real deal. On the show today, we'll be talking to beauty expert Laura Condon. She'll be bringing out her amazing new skincare line that will help in all, skin, in all skincare situations. I have questions lined up for her to see what her skincare line is all about. Questions to help you, the viewers, get a better understanding of the whole anti-aging cream world. And we'll talk about the pros and cons of plastic surgery. Also, we'll see what celebra celebrities are doing to look years younger and lots more. Hope you're ready. Let's go. New York dermatologist Albert M. Lefowitz, who treats celebrities and supermodels, says, Celebrities are very religious on wearing SPF protection every single day, summer and winter. They don't live in a cocoon to avoid rays, but they also don't lie out in the sun for hours. And believe me, they're always putting on sunscreen. Sunscreen. Dr. Lancer added, anything that says broad spectrum and SPF 15 or higher is good. But what's most important is applying it often. I tell my clients to put it on 15 minutes before they leave the house in the morning and at least one more time a few hours later. My celebrity clients who are gorgeous at around 40 have lived by that rule. These celebrities even go one step further according to their dermatologists. They wear sunscreen inside. UVA rays have a remarkable way of finding your face through windows and by, bef by reflecting off shiny surfaces. Points out the pros. Dr. Lefowitz mentions another obsession is sunglasses. Large lenses with UVA and UVB filters ward off sun damage and they prevent you from squinting which causes crow's feet. Every time you invest in a jar of cream, you take a leap of faith that will actually do what it claims. But there have been many studies proving the benefits of retinoid vitamin A derivatives that speed up cellular turnover and these glowing 40 and over celebrities are now walking billboards for this magic ingredient. The first prescription of retinoid, Retina A, became available in the early 1970s as an anti-acne remedy, explains Jessica Wu, a dermatologist in Los Angeles. The stars who are now in their 40s started using Retina A as a, teenage, as a teenager to control their breakouts. Decades later, dermatologists realized that the anti-aging cream benefits of retinoid, such as encouraging collagen production, reducing fine lines, improving, improving elasticity, and plumping the skin. Dr. Wu continues, Renova, a more moisturizing version of the prescription retinoid, was launched as an anti-aging cream and these stars transitioned over to that. Now you don't even need a prescription to get an over-the-counter version of the cream that still contains enough of the ingredients to make it effective. Celebrities are also exfoliating queens and kings. Med spa owner Kate Somerville, founder of Kate Somerville Skin Health Experts, whose clients include Felicity Huffman, Kate Walsh, and Julia Louise Dreyfus says, my clients have always got, gotten facials once a month to exfoliate their skin, and then they maintain results between appointments with an at-home scrub. The secret these celebrities know, old dull skin are the enemy. To look glimmery and dewy, you have to be diligent about stripping off that top dead cell sludge through derm abrasions, peels, or scrubs. This allows products to penetrate better, explains Dr. Lancer, and increases blood flow, which brings more oxygen to your skin surface and spurns collagen production. 63-year-old Dr. Phil has his own secret to reversing the aging, anti-aging uh, process, a giant mysterious egg-shaped pod. 
Except Dr. Phil's isn't some publicity stunt. It's a $65,000 piece of technology that could help reverse the aging process. It's called a CVAC, which stands for a cyclic variation in adaptive conditioning. And there are only 16 in the world, used by all kinds of rich people and famous athletes according to CVAC. The chambers use a computer controlled valve and a vacuum pump to simulate high altitude and compress the muscles at rhythmic intervals, which proportionally improves circulation, boosts oxygen rich blood cells, and even stimulates biogenesis and cell, cell, cell productions. Translation, it could be the fountain of youth. We've learned Dr. Phil has one in his house. We're told Dr. Phil purchased the contraption because he's very active and it helps with his shoulder and knee problems. Not bad for $65,000 and with a reported net worth of $240 million, Dr. Phil can afford it. Okay, so we're going to talk about plastic surgeries. Millions of people, both male and female, undergo plastic surgery every year. Modern plastic surgeons can alter almost any aspect of physical appearance. From facial features to body shape. While some cosmetic surgery is done for medical reasons such as reconstructing facial features after an accident, many other procedures are voluntary. Weighing the pros and cons before having cosmetic surgery can help individuals make a decision whether it's the right choice for them. For some, having cosmetic surgery can be vital to confident levels and to self-image. If, if you have a physical feature that you spent years wishing you were, that were different or that had a recognizable impact on your daily life or health, this usually indicates that it's something you truly desire to change, as opposed to a sudden dislike for something about yourself that recently became an issue. However, obsession over a specific facial or body feature can indicate mental issues and therapy might be better option than surgery. One of the big benefits of plastic surgery comes to those who have health issues related to the appearance issue that both bother them, that bother them. Some women with very large breasts experience excruciating back pain that a breast reduction can el eliminate or reduce significantly. A nose job can potentially reduce sinus infection and the removal of breast tissue in men can lower the risk of cancer in that tissue. These are just a few of the health problems that can be alleviated through cosmetic surgery. Cosmetic surgery is still surgery and shouldn't be taken lightly. The potential for complication exists. Just as for any other operation, pain is a significant drawback to plastic surgery and recovery times can be as long as six months in some cases. Some patients may be at risk for severe, severe reactions to anesthesia or may develop health problems such as hemorrhaging as a result of their surgery. Sometimes cosmetic surgery doesn't produce the results the patient desires. This is often a problem with expectations, not with the skill of the surgeon. Expecting unrealistic, unrealistic results such as the surgery will make you look like a movie star or automatically solve all your dating problems can be a significant drawback to having cosmetic procedures. People who consult with a doctor before their procedure and develop a realistic idea of what the end result will look like often have a better experience. Cosmetic surgery can be expensive and usually not covered by medical insurance. There may also be a financial loss due to time taken off work for recovery. However, in some cases, if there is a medical condition related to the surgery, there may be some form of insurance compensa compensation available. This sometimes occurs when cosmetic surgery is used to repair birth defects, reconstructive surgery after an accident, or in case such as a severe recurrent sinus infection that can be fixed via rhinoplastic plasty, which is plastic surgery for the nose. Now we're here to speak to beauty expert Laura Condon about her fabulous new skincare line called the Beauty Buster line. All right, so I just want to ask you a few questions about the line and about your experience about being a skin expert. Tell the viewers a little bit about yourself. You've got quite a bit of accolades on your resume. Care to share? I've been in the beauty industry for about 15 years. I'm a licensed esthetician. I've done everything from, you know, working in the spa, waxing, facials, to freelance makeup. Um, 
as a trainer, I've worked, national trainer, educator, salesman, so I've pretty much done everything, wrote a book, and so now here I am with um, my skincare line. Yeah, and this is her book here, The Spa Wars. <laughs> Check it out, it's really interesting. That's glued on hair. <laughs> That's not really his hair, I make sure I tell everybody that. <laughs> glued on hair, folks. <laughs> this is family, this is love, when they let you glue hair on them and then rip it off. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, cool. So uh, I see you're on the Dr. Oz show mm -hmm. and you've written the skincare book. Where, where, do you get, where does your drive stem from? Uh, it really comes from the frustration of seeing people misinformed, whether either not informing themselves or the cosmetic companies and magazines, they're all working in cahoots together to sell a product and make money. Mm -hmm. And that's really very frustrating as an esthetician. People come and say, oh, I'm using this you know, apricot scrub and it's so, you know, my skin is dry and, and it's flaking now and it's tight and itchy. And, um, but they think it's the best thing. Oh, well, mm -hmm. my doctor said so. I'm like, well, your doctor doesn't know anything about cosmetically taking care of the skin. They can write a prescription, diagnose a disease, but they're two different worlds. So it really grew out of the frustration of people being misinformed and just, you know, after 15 years, I couldn't take it. No. <laughs> so like, I'm gonna like really help people and tell them what works, what doesn't. And that's kind of how the Beauty Buster name came about because I was busting out beauty myths. Nice. All right, so tell me a little bit about your skincare line. It's amazing. There's five products for women, four products for men. And they are all natural, which is very, everybody has an all natural product, but the difference is that these are not water-based. They're only active ingredients. So if you pick up any, go to Whole Foods and pick up products, you'll see that the first ingredient is always water. So it's 90% mm. water, 10% active mm. ingredients. So yeah. how much is, re and then how much is really gonna get yeah. into your skin? Yeah. Not very much. Wow. Mine are 100% active. Wow. Even if there is water in some of them, it's not the first ingredient and it's rose water. Mm -hmm. So there's really a, a reason why you need some kind of liquid to go with it. But it's really, they're amazing. 10% of it goes to charity wow. and uh, it's made in America and everything is in America. And it's all based around the metal foam plant from the Pacific Northwest, wow. which is really healing, very um, soothing to the skin and very repairing. Okay. Is there a specific charity that you guys donate to? Um, I work mostly with two charities, two military charities. Um, the Freedom Alliance, which gives college scholarships to kill children whose parents have either been killed or permanently disabled in war. Wow. Plus they do a lot, they take, you know, like a wounded warrior type of organization where they take the soldiers out and, and give them gifts and have them go on picnics and just, you know, reintegrate into, you know, non-civilian life mm -hmm. or find hope after. Mm -hmm. And also a cup of joe for a joe, <laughs> which is a great charity. For $2, it's great, with Green Mountain Coffee. $2 gives a cup of coffee, hot, cold, you know, iced uh, or tea to a soldier serving overseas, wow. most of them in the Middle East. And it's really great because they can also, when they get that coffee, they a lot of times they'll send you an email just to say thank oh, you. Oh, that's nice. And at first I thought, like, what's a cup of coffee going to be doing? Like, they're risking their lives. But, you know, there's like, it's the only taste of home. Wow. You know, like an MRE hmm. is not cutting it, especially if you're Italian. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? The little things we take advantage of. I right? know. Mom's meatballs and gravy. I you're know. not going to get that. I don't get that there. So, okay. you know, the coffee really helps just to lift their spirits. That's great. That's right. All right, let's break down each skincare bottle and explain to me its uses. What are the ingredients you use? Okay, so the first step you would do would be your daily um, face wash or scrub. It's very gentle. There's rice in here. There is also, uh, we have it right over here, rice, rose water, aloe, glycerin, baking soda, primrose oil, and lavender. That's it. That's all that's in here, and it's amazing. And the pink line here is lavender-based, and the green, which most men tend to go for, is pine-based. And pine and lavender are almost identical in the sense that they're both antifungal, antibacterial, they're very, very healing to the skin, which a lot of people don't think of pine of like that, but it really is, and the smell is amazing. Wow. This is very, very fine uh, grain, mm -hmm. so it, and the baking soda is a natural disincrustation, which means it naturally dissolves all the dead skin cells That's and the great. oil. That's great. Amazing, so you're not gonna feel tight, dry, or itchy after you wash okay. it. If you have any um, bumps, or razor burn or ingrown hairs, you can use this bump blaster. You're just gonna shake it a little bit and then drop it right on. And we look on here, we have tea tree oil, rose water, aloe, vitamin E, metal foam, and pine. Okay. Amazing, it smells like, it's so beautiful. You can use it as a toner, anything. This we call liquid gold, which is the secret weapon serum. Very, very healing to the skin, very hydrating. This is your major anti-aging. Uh, products okay. and for here we could see it's metal foam is the first ingredient which is the one that you really want it's not at the end macadamia nut oil apricot oil rice bran oil rose sandalwood 
essential oils. Okay. Amazing. Right. Rose right. and sandalwood alone. I mean, if you had nothing else, <laughs> rose and sandalwood are just outrageous. Then these are really cool. This is a moisturizer in a stick and it's a bomb. Most people don't make this and it's really amazing and convenient, very easy to travel with. Um, it's gonna be, it's not a jar, so you're not gonna be sticking your fingers in it. The cap goes on and this is so awesome. It's macadamia nut oil, white beeswax, which is very, very healing. It's not a traditional beeswax. Okay. Vitamin E and meadow foam and lavender. And you're just going to put it wherever you need it. If you don't need it, if you're really oily in your T-zone, mm -hmm. no need to worry. Just put it on your cheeks. You can go over your lips, your eyes. This is all in one. I've used it for flyaways. Oh, wow. <laughs> on shoots. It's okay. very easy. There you you can use it with your hands if you wanted to. Um, very, very easy. Men love this one. I think this is it. Yeah, the atomic bomb for men. Okay. Men love a moisturizer and a stick. Oh, They're wow. not into creams. Tubes is even too much work. Uh, <laughs> like, really. And it's they, like it reminds of us of the uh, deodorant, that's why. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, they do like it. Men do have certain like things that they like where women do like the jars, even though jars are really not good because just so much bacteria gets wow, in them. Okay. But women like the feel and the yeah, look of a jar. Yeah, they get their fingers in and Yeah, they it's it more uh, luxurious. Yeah. And that's the way women have been sold it by companies. Yeah. But um, a stick or a tube really are the best. And then the Crack Spackle. This is so awesome. This is, this is like everybody loves this product. They love the name and they just like the whole idea of it. This is for, um, same thing, another bomb that you're going to put right into your cuticles. You can put it into your knuckles. You can use it as a lip balm for your heels. Mm -hmm. Anywhere you have dry cracked skin, if you, you know, like uh, windburn. Okay. A lot of people get it on their ears, like if they're boaters or golfers. Yeah. Their ears get really burnt and dried and cracked. Wow. Um, and this is coconut oil is the big thing in here and everybody knows coconut oil is amazing. The white beeswax again, vitamin E, metal foam and pine and uh, well the pink has lavender. And excellent, the, excellent. The green has pine and it's just, they're so amazing. If you like pine, you just go and get the green. That's great. That's lavender great. is the That's pink. That's awesome. What an interesting choice, pine. I love that. I know, it was really amazing. I wanted something that was manly smelling but not musky and okay. not too much and not fake smelling and pine is just very invigorating and you know, if you're into the outdoors, great, great. <laughs> it feels, feels and smells really great. Great, great. So, so the camouflage is not the, the traditional packaging <laughs> for natural skincare. Why did you choose camouflage? I know. A lot of people always ask, why is it camouflage? Or like, it definitely will stand out in the natural skincare aisle for sure. Uh, the main reason is because I am the beauty buster and camouflage is my whole deal in terms of busting out beauty myths, being a con beauty consumer advocate, and really um, fighting against the powers that be in the cosmetic world. Mm -hmm. And also, um, as you can see, a portion of our proceeds are donated to uh, the military, to the two charities that mm -hmm. we spoke about, yes, the yeah. Freedom Alliance and Cup of Joe for a Joe. Uh, and since everything is made in America, it, it just kind of all goes together and it, with my whole persona and helping the military and our soldiers. Is there a creative strategy to be mindful of when using creams? Apply before, let's say, swimming or um, humidity? With, there's nothing in particular with this line, but a lot of people tend to really use very hot water on their face. It feels kind of good, but it really dehydrates the skin and will leave you very um, uh, more dry <laughs> than you're trying to get. And the idea is to be nice and soft skin. So yeah, you don't want to use really, really dry uh, hot water and you don't want to scrub your face like you're scrubbing the kitchen floor. You want to do a nice, gentle scrub. The dead skin will come off, let the product work. Um, even my scrub, you can leave on as a mask if you wanted to mm -hmm. and it will still do almost the same exact thing. Okay. So just gentle is better. Okay, great, great. How long will it take to see results with your products? Depends on your skin and what you're trying to do. You can see immediate results. If you uh, if your skin is dry, you put on the serum or the moisturizer, you're gonna be hydrated. Mm -hmm. If you have um, uh, ripped cuticles or dry heels, it could be almost in, you know immediately as you put it on or it could heal over a night or a couple days. Really depends on what you're trying to do. For anti-aging, it really is long-term. That's mm -hmm. a, an investment in yourself forever. It's a lifestyle. Uh, you know, there's not one cream or anything that's going to make you look 10 years younger unless you're really beating your face up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, so yeah. though it was, it's, it's a process. You have to also, yeah, you have to, like she said, you have to eat right and you have to not smoke and drink yeah. constantly. So it's a lifestyle. But if yeah. you have a pimple and you put on the bump blaster, you could almost definitely see, you know, a result, you know, quickly within 24 hours. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So um, next question is, 
Who are your clientels? I mean, what's the age range on, on your clientels for these products? Um, it's really been surprising. It's everybody has a product that they love for a different reason. So the bump list are really creative for men's razor burn and women's bikini line burn and from waxing. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's really turned out to be the, the, the star for teenage boys. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect that, but like parents really buy that for their sons wow. and it's made such dramatic differences in their skin. It's, it's been amazing. So you kind of didn't know. Yeah. Um, crack spackle is everybody. And a lot of older people really love crack spackle because their skin is much more fine a thin mm -hmm. kind of thins out and it rips more easily and um, they're on a lot of medications that will rip their skin and make mm -hmm. it bruise easy so this has been a, a godsend for a lot of them wow. okay. um, it's been really great and then everybody wants the the secret weapon serum for the anti-aging mm -hmm. and the scrub people really like because they uh, women really like that women do, do use a lot of scrubs because it's easy and quick but they're surprised how soft their skin is after. Wow. Because it's, um, you know, it's rice and, and aloe and rose water. So they've been really like shocked at how we'll, nice it feels. Yeah, we'll have a model here later on that will show mm -hmm. the scrub and we'll see the difference and we'll see how it looks, definitely. Awesome. All right, uh, why are there so many phonies out there in regards <laughs> to anti-aging creams? Well, one of the re the money is the big reason yeah. because it's not a highly regulated industry, cosmetics. Uh -huh. So until something goes wrong, uh, the government, it's kind of a free for all. Wow. So they don't really have to prove their claims unless somebody sues them and then says prove it. So they really walk the line, the fine line and saying what they, what they can and can't mm. do. But constantly, cosmetic companies are constantly being sued. Uh, by consumers who say, you said this was gonna make, I think L'Oreal just went through and oh, you're gonna look 10 years younger by putting this cream on. They like blatantly said it mm -hmm. and it was completely false. Wow. Uh, a lot of the mascara ads, now they have to say that the, mes the, the model is wearing false eyelashes, hmm. where before it would, they would just say, oh, the mascara did this. Well, like mascara doesn't make your lashes completely perfect all the way around wow. and you know, yeah. um, that doesn't really happen. So. It's just been very easy for the cosmetic companies to get around. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Wow. Great to know. Yeah, great yeah. information. That's why I say read the read the label, number one. See what you're getting. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of work to find out great, right, you know, anti-aging cream. Well, here so. it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, are, what are common skincare mistakes that people make? Uh, I think the number one is not reading the label and thinking I'm getting this vitamin E cream and it's, you know, 20 ingredients and vitamin E is the last one, mm -hmm. you know, or maybe even, you know, preservatives and things like that. So you have to read it and just don't take it for the salesperson's word for it. And I would say um, your skin does not have to be super tight, dry, or itchy after washing it. That does not equal clean. Mm -hmm. uh, in America, that's a, not so much in Europe, but in America, like the clean thing has gotten completely misconstrued as to healthy. Mm -hmm. uh, so your skin should be clean, but it shouldn't be stripped. Mm. So a lot of people strip their skin and then create more problems. Wow. And I would say the third big one is sunscreen. Most people do not reapply sunscreen every hour if they're outside, which if you're down the shore or you're you know, outside all day, every hour you're sweating, it comes right off. Yeah. Uh, and the SPF after 30 does really nothing, wow. almost nothing, because you need to keep reapplying it. So wow. people think SPF 100, it does nothing. It's a waste of money and it's, uh, it's, very, it's harder on the skin as well. Mm. Wow, that's great information, that's great to know, mm -hmm. wow. All right, so... Um, how can they buy your product? I mean, where, where do you ship your products? We just launched, so right now you can buy it online on the website. Uh, I also sell it in Westfield. We should be opening up Costa Rica in about a month and hopefully more places around the country. That's great. And she has the site, thebeautybuster.com. Mm -hmm. You can check it out there and purchase there, right? Yep, you just click on shop and you'll see all the products come up. Very easy. Get in there. <laughs> all right, so Beauty Buster's 10K line, thebeautybuster.com. Her phone number is 973-715-3826. And uh, her email is info at thebeautybuster.com. Mm -hmm. Come take a look, try it out. You'll be amazed. Laura here, thank you so much. Thank you very much. And yeah, good luck. Thank Best you. of luck with everything with it. Thank you. All righty. So we're here with Laura and our model, Kelly, and Laura's gonna demonstrate her products on Kelly. So what are you gonna try out first, Laura? Well, I'm gonna show you a couple steps that you can put into your daily routine that are gonna make a huge difference in your skin, how it's going to look, and also the longevity of your skin. So. 
Normally, she would start with a clean sweep, which is a scrub. You can use this every day. And the reason why you can use the scrub every day is going to be very gentle. You're not going to scrub it like you're scrubbing the kitchen floor. <laughs> it's going to be really gentle on yeah. your face. And just with lukewarm water, you're going to rinse it right off. And then, so assuming that we've washed her face, the next thing I'm going to do is use a serum on her whole entire face. It's going to give her a really beautiful dewy glow. And that is our secret weapon serum. This is the metal foam based serum that we use. Everything in our line has metal foam. It's going to be really beautiful. If you could just hold this for me. We put it in a dropper bottle to reinforce that you don't need to use a lot of it. You're just going to use a couple of drops. And what I like to do, I just put a couple on my finger like that and then I'll just tap it around and then rub it right in. And you can get along the eye area here, anywhere in your little fine lines, not that she has too many. Again, a couple of drops. And this is really amazing. It has primrose oil, which is great um, as you go through your changes because it's very, very healing to the skin. Meadow foam is a plant in the Pacific Northwest, one of the most healing plants that we, that we know about. And it has really, really long omega chains. And as we know, omega oils are amazing for our skin and our body. Very simple. She can go like that. You see, she's not a greasy mess. She's very dewy. It is going to absorb, especially if you're a dryer, it's gonna go right into the skin. And then I'm gonna use this atomic balm, which is really awesome, also has meadow foam. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of it and I'm gonna go right around on her eye. You're gonna use it just like this and just very gently goes right in there. And this is gonna give her a perfect under eye so when she puts her concealer on, you are not going to see any crepey lines. It's kind of almost like a primer, but without all that grease that primers can be. They're very slippery in silicone and silicone is not natural at all. And if she was dry anywhere else, we could say, all right, maybe in this line right here, we'll kind of erase that little line right there and then right here. So that's pretty much the common areas that... Yeah, if she's, it depends on your skin. If you're really dry, I mean, the great thing I love about the sticks is that you can put it anywhere. If you're dry just on your cheeks, you can put it right on your cheeks. If you're, you know, really oily in your T-zone, then you don't put it in there. It's wherever you need it. If you're really um, oily, but you still need a little bit of moisture, a lot of people with oily skin can flake. So you can just put it there wherever you're flaking. Sometimes they flake on their nose because mm -hmm. they're trying to get rid of all that oil. So you can just do one pass. If you're really dry, two passes, three Excellent. passes. Excellent. So you really have options and you can layer this. And then the next thing I'm gonna do, which is also one of my favorite products and everybody loves Crack Spackle. It's one of the best. Um, this I made specifically for really dry, cracked, rough skin. It's gonna feel amazing. And this one in particular has pine. So all we're gonna do is take it and put it right on her lips. And then you can just put it in. And you can see, you can use this as a lip balm, but it's gonna be much more healing because many lip balms are just Vaseline or mineral oil based, and they really just form a film over the lip. They don't do any healing. And if it, that's why you have to keep using it over and over again all day long. You can put this on twice and you're good to go. You can mix it with a lip gloss, you can mix it with a lipstick to give your matte lipsticks a little bit of lush, uh, you know, a little bit of life and a little bit more luxe feel to it. And that's it. And this is gonna really repair. This is coconut oil and we all know how amazing coconut oil is on this skin. And that's it, very simple. All right, so Laura, you have some hand creams products that you use, uh, tell us more about that. Okay, well, as I was talking about before, um, that we're gonna use the scrub on our hands. And this is rice-based scrub. It has um, lavender in it as well. And you're just gonna squeeze out a little bit. You don't need a lot. A little goes a long, long way. And I'm just gonna mix this with a little bit of, because normally you would have some water, I'm gonna mix it with our bump blaster, which is pine, lavender, tea tree oil. This is great for any kind of ingrown hairs. That's all you need, a little bit. Little dab will do you. And then we're just gonna rub it in. And you can see it forms a really, really nice glow on the skin, even like that. It smells amazing. Like you can really smell the pine and the tea tree. And then we're just gonna wipe that off. And you can see if you hold up your hands next to each other, just even with that, the difference in the skin and how we've gotten rid of a lot of dead skin here and you can feel the difference. It feels so soft. 
And it's when do amazing. you suggest they could do that to themselves every You month? can do this every day. I mean, if you work with your hands, you can definitely do this every day. Um, you know, just when you're in the shower, you would be doing it anyway, yeah. scrubbing your, your body. And you can use this scrub. It's so gentle because it's rice and you're not going to be scrubbing it in really hard. Mm -hmm. It's very gentle. The, the granules will do all the work for you. Okay. It also has baking soda, which is really what does a lot of the disincrustation. Okay, so then because of the crack spackle, again, is amazing, and the name says it all, it's gonna help with any um, ripped cuticles, dryness in the skin, and all you have to do, I'm gonna screw it up a little bit here, and you just kinda go over the hands, just like that. Very, very simple, right into the cuticles. And then we're gonna give our nice little hand massage. <laughs> <laughs> and this crack spackle, the, the coconut in there is, so repairing. Everybody's doing the oil pulling and mm -hmm. coconut's really the hot and new ingredient, which has been around forever and everybody loves it. And you can't beat it because it really goes into the skin. Mm. Very, very repairing. And it smells amazing. Like really, really smells amazing. The lavender in the crack spackle is also going to be very healing to the skin. Up until the Second World War, the French were using lavender in the fields to treat wounds. Wow. Lavender and sugar. Wow. They're antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral. Mm. Very, very healing to the skin. Our skin is made up of a lot of sugar. Wow. So that's why it's sugar and protein. Mm. Okay. So if you hold your hands up next to each other, you can see the difference, how one is really glowing, one looks beautiful and alive, and this is gonna really soak right into the skin. You can do this at night too. I mean, if you're working, you know, you need your hands to not have any slip on them. You could do it at night, put gloves on. I love to do that. Sometimes I'll do it when I'm at the beach and then just sit there and let the sun soak it all in. Oh, wow. um, anytime while you're sitting watching TV. All right. On your feet, this is amazing on your feet. Like okay. people have miracles with the heels wow. and the filling up the cracks in the heels. Wow. Okay. Nice. All righty. Thank you. All right. So to sum it all up, Laura, let's uh, tell me about what you just did. All right. Quick run through. Very easy. The first product is Clean Sweep. This is your daily face wash and scrub. It's baking soda, rice. Very gently scrub it. Then you can also, if you have any ingrown hairs, razor burn, you're just going to give this a little shake and put some of the bump blaster on. You can spot treat little pimples if you have. And then this is the liquid gold. This is the metal foam based secret weapon serum. And seeing you saw with just a couple drops and you're going to put this all over your whole face. Don't forget your neck and your chest, especially very, very healing and hydrating to the skin. This is what's going to do all the repairing and anti-aging. And then your moisturizer in a stick. This is your lavender and um, very, very easy to use. Put it wherever you need it. And if you don't need it someplace, don't put it very easy. And then everybody's favorite, crack spackle, which you're going to put wherever you have really deeply cracked skin, any tearing skin, any rips, any injuries, your lips, and you can even do it around your eyes if you want. They're all natural, no active ingredient, I mean, only active ingredients involved, no water in most of the products, and if they are, it's not at the first ingredient like most things. So these are really only active ingredients, highly effective, and really, really amazing. So, so I want to thank Laura for coming in with her beautiful products, her skin products. They're amazing. I mean, I could smell it from off the camera. Mm -hmm. And I want to thank mm -hmm. Kelly, our model. And thank you so much. You can check out Laura's products at thebeautybuster.com. All right. Thank you for watching this episode of Style Forward. I hope you enjoyed the show. Please like our page and follow us on Facebook at Style Forward Show. And also check us out on Gmail at styleforwardshow at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.